We turn to BP's chief operating officer, Doug Suttles, who joins us from Robert, Louisiana. And Doug, we just heard overnight you began the process of the insertion tube. Any success yet? Well, Robin, what we're doing right now is is uh, we're, we're running some uh, hooking the equipment up and running some uh, items into the end of that riser to make sure that the tube will fit. I suspect it will be late this evening before we actually get it fully inserted and uh, hopefully start containing some of this flow on the seabed. I know that you have said that your company is focusing your highest priority is containing the spill, not measuring it. Though we're seeing more and more reports that it is much more than the 5,000 gallons a day. Don't you need to know the amount and the speed in which it is leaving in order to better contain it? Isn't that fair to say? Well, Robin, I think, you know, as you said, what we're focused on is, you know, stopping the flow and minimizing the impact. And since the beginning, we've said, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to get a precise number, but ourselves and people from no and others believe that something around 5,000, it's actually barrels a day, is the best estimate. And we look at that, not only do we, we, we look at what's occurring on the seabed, we look at what's occurring on the surface. And actually we know that on the good weather days, when we can apply all of our tools, we can actually shrink the size of this spill. And those are the, the ways we actually think that that's probably a reasonable number, but we know it's highly uncertain. Your company has gone to different strategies in trying to contain this. And I know uh, that you've said before that no one could have foreseen um, a disaster like this, but isn't it part of the responsibility of your company to have a contingency plan in place in case something happens? Because there's the thought that it's the kitchen sink strategy that you're just throwing, you're, you're almost winging it as you go. Shouldn't something more have been in place, concrete in place beforehand? Well, Robin, you know, I know some people feel like that, and, and they feel like that, uh, that we're just kind of reaching for everything here. But I, I just go back to even comments that Secretary Salazar and Chu made earlier this week. You know, we have the best people in the world working on this, whether they're from BP or from industry or from academia or from the government. Um, we're pushing the very edges of technology. I'm sure through all of the investigative work and, and, and the work by policymakers that things will probably change. But right now, all we can do is apply absolutely every resource and every bit of thinking possible to the problem, and that's what we're doing. You bring up the government, and President Obama is expected to address this issue again later today. And word on the street is it's not going to be pretty what he has to say. What are you hearing from the government? Uh, well, I, t I can tell you we've had tremendous cooperation from across the, the Coast Guard and the other agencies here in the Unified Command. I, I think I've talked about this before. The teamwork, I, I think, is unparalleled. We each have our unique roles in this process, but we actually have a common mission, which is we, we want to bring this thing to an end as quick as we can, and we want to minimize the impact. And, and I couldn't say enough about the great people from the government, in particular the Coast Guard, that we're working with. I know you have a long one weekend, another long weekend ahead of you. Doug Suttles, thank you so much for your time this morning. You bet, Robin. Thank you.